This time of year, you always have those who simply love to hang around. Take this woodpecker John Canupka saw in Luzerne County, for example. Some grow curiouser and curiouser, so they, well, they hang out. Joe Descani Shimokin caught this trio doing some people seeing. This time of year sees a lot of changes. This barn Monica Marzani found in Varden carries a Christmas wreath, but also a view not seen since last autumn. But one fine morning, we awaken to the fact that nature has tossed a white blanket over us. That's what Tammy Nielsen saw at Newfoundland. Pretty much the same here, snowy trees over the creek from Crystal at Pocono Pines. Shadows by George Lauter Kingsley look beyond this unique alignment, and it all has changed. Looking out the windows here with Emily in Newfoundland can make you think, what's over the next hill? What are we missing? Indeed, what might be over the next hill, like the one Rick Liebert followed behind his house at Eagle's Mere? Perhaps some little bit of humor assembled by someone who takes a turn to the humorous side of life once in a while. Thanks to Sharon Kittner Dyberry for the look. Whatever we find will likely be a lovely view of nature's work. Avis Miller of Berwick here, snow on the mountaintop. We look and see what Linda Hunter of Wyalusing calls a winter wonderland. And indeed it is. As with most good things out here, though, it'll be gone in a moment. So your opportunity to take a stroll out here to capture a few images must be taken seriously with haste. Winter bliss here from Felicia Luptak, Lackawanna County. We'll really see only a few snowy mornings like this one Stacy Preambo caught. May I suggest you see them, take them, and send them on in to the PhotoLink Library. I'm Mike Stevens.